A total number of 558 Kabul University students has today been declared graduates after pursuing a three days patriotism course conducted by the National Secretariat for Patriotism Corps Uganda that led to the launch of the Kabul University Patriotism Study Group. We have commissioned this uh, chapter to intensify ideological studies for God and the country. The core values of this training was based on the patriotism ideology and mindset in relationship with social economic transformation amongst Ugandan citizens. The chief instructor of the training, Major Sam Emoit, highlights what these students went through. We had to take them through the highlights of our history as a country because the history helps us to uh, avoid repeating the past mistakes that we, we witnessed in our country. Then we also took them through a package of uh, mindset change, ways of thinking, which was basically aimed at synchronizing their minds towards the national ideology of the country. Then we also took them through uh, the topic of uh, uh, the laws that govern the process of development of society from one stage to another. Because society doesn't develop by accident, but is a law-governed process. The Commissioner for Patriotism in the Office of the President, Brigadier General Patrick Messier, emphasizes that the purpose of such trainings is to impact values of positive attitude to the students and set them to responsible citizens ready to work towards the transformation of the country. This knowledge we give is transformative knowledge. It changes an individual. It transforms an individual, uh, especially to do with uh, the beliefs, the system of beliefs, that they grow up having, which are not commensurate with the transformative process, uh, then the, 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 the values, this knowledge helps transform their values and attitudes, and hence making them more responsible citizens uh, who are going to see, to, to drive the transformation process. We prepare them to be leaders, good leaders uh, in future. Uh, soon, of course, they will be ushered after the school, they will be ushered uh, in the le leadership domain. And if you don't prepare leaders, then you end up with the disastrous ones like we used to have in the past. Presiding over the climaxing lecture, the UPDF Chief Political Commissar Brigadier General Henry Masco warns the students about diverting their attention from studying, saying that it was the major aim of starting patriotism in Uganda. Duty number one of you who is bearing the name or the type of student is study. Put all your effort on study or learning. Don't divert your attention. In these universities, we all do Brigadier General Masco adds on urging students to always be disciplined in whatever decision they are to take before making bad choices. When you, you don't embrace this you believe you say, oh, now I have realized it will be Because if you embrace, for example, drugs, drugs will not touch me. You know the drugs I'm talking about. Drugs destroy your brain. Permanently. If you stop, you remain permanently in a dangerous medical condition. In other words, you really will never be the same. It is so. Not knowing the data now, when you want to realize the data, it is too. The Vice Chancellor Kabali University Professor Joy Kwesiga says that the campus has been lacking such patriotism skills, appreciating the initiative and also calling upon all students to embrace it. I've been asking several over the years, I've been wanting this. Uh, this, uh, these clubs to be formed here simply because I'm aware of where, what has happened somewhere else before I've seen them in other places. But also, as my background as I grew up, I, I've known about civic education, I've known about patriotism, and I know that it is important for every growing person to be able to to acquire this knowledge and be able to fit in their own country and their environment. After this training, students also hope to achieve much from such patriotism skills in their lifetime. When I heard of this patriotism club, first and foremost I joined it. Later I heard of this training and I said, oh, why should I be left out, or left out of this training? 
before I know I would attain something that I would later share with my fellows or with those that are um, somehow brag about patriotism or being patriotic and the importance of being a patriotic person. In 2009, President Yoel Museven launched the Patriotic Program set to impact norms and values of patriotism in all students in secondary and tertiary schools as well as the youth of Uganda. Nobati Nyamachi, Fortuguese Television.